Every single minute, one million plastic bottles are being bought on Earth. That means by the end of this video, another three million will have been purchased. And it's safe to say, not all of those are going to end up being recycled. In fact, 91% won't be. In this episode of Unpacked, we're taking a look at sustainable packaging and how true sustainability goes beyond just the packaging. A few years ago, Coca-Cola came out with a fully recyclable plastic bottle. It's made from plants. And impressively, it fits into a closed loop system. Closed loop is where materials are fed back into the original system through recycling or through composting. These materials can be reused or repurposed. For example, Samsonite uses plastic bottles in the making of some of their luggage. Sustainability is not just about eco-friendly packaging. It's about reducing your carbon footprint as a whole. Yes, a closed loop system is ideal, one that sends 100% of the materials back into the resource pool. But for true sustainability, you also need to look at potential waste during the production process. When introducing end-to-end -end sustainability, you need to look back at the very beginning. For example, the packaging approval process can result in many rounds of revisions until the product is ready to go to production. This can result in a lot of waste if that process isn't as tight as possible, even if the product itself has 100% sustainable packaging. Significant resources also get wasted when mistakes slip through supply chain cracks and onto store shelves. Avoidable packaging errors result in recalls, which causes heaps of wasted packaging that has no value and will be discarded because it can't be used. In 2015 alone, 77.9 million tons of municipal solid waste generated in the U.S. was containers and packaging and over a third of that ended up in landfills. And the resources to carry out a recall often don't consider the transportation and labor costs involved in sending more packaging back through the supply chain and reshipping the product. It all hurts your bottom line and the packaging footprint you're trying to market as sustainable. So how can you be sure your sustainability efforts aren't erased by production missteps? Start to consider your end-to-end -end process beyond just the product. Many companies looking at new technologies or automated solutions that can spot errors before going to print. And this helps prevent those recalls from happening. The point is, to address sustainability, it's important to consider how a product is made and how to be as efficient as possible with the resources that are available to you. The more you consider your entire packaging process, the more positive an impact you'll make achieving your sustainability goals. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time where we'll be talking about FDA regulations on packaging.